to being joined by Mr. Mohammad Najib, who is a journalist and also a war correspondent and a security analyst, is joining us live from Ramallah in the West Bank. Now, Mr. Najib, these are the details that have been spelt out by the Khatri representatives that have been at the forefront of negotiations for this kind of a humanitarian pause deal. It is not correct to describe this as a ceasefire because it is not. This is a brief sort of a pause in the campaign of bombings by the Israelis and their ground offensive for a period of four days in exchange for about 50 hostages that are expected to be released. What is your reading on the ground there? Why do you think the Israelis have agreed to this? Did Netanyahu agree to this deal under pressure? Yes, uh, good question. As Netanyahu hoped uh, since the beginning of this uh, war that uh, he uh, can reach uh, the Israeli hostages uh, through his intelligence services and armed forces that invaded Gaza through the ground uh, incursion and released them. But uh, after uh, those uh, 48 days when the IDF failed to locate those uh, Israeli hostages and to free them, uh, and uh, due to the internal and the growing Israeli pressures in Israel against the Netanyahu government, and they say that uh, we want the target of this war is not to destroy Hamas, but to bring back our sons and our relatives. Then under that pressure uh, from uh, one side and the uh, intelligence and IDF failure to locate them and free them by force from Hamas, he agreed to uh, go on this uh, pause and uh, to bring back uh, 50 uh, uh, Israeli hostages. Most of them are women and children. Right. And maybe this uh, truce right. could be... Uh, uh, extended for another days if Hamas is ready and the negotiators manage to convince Hamas to free more Israeli prisoners and more Palestinian prisoners will be freed from the Israeli jets. Absolutely indeed. And not even, you know, everyone within Benjamin Netanyahu's cabinet agree on the details of this deal. Itamar ben gvir the internal security minister in Israel, has described this hostage deal as a disaster for the state of Israel. But Mr. Najib, the question that I want to ask you is this. You know, about 150 Palestinian prisoners will also be allowed to walk free. There are thousands of Palestinians who at this moment who are incarcerated in Israeli prisons. And we expect a lot of the children and a lot of the women who at this moment are in Israeli prisons on various charges, they'll be allowed to walk free. Give us a sense of what is the perception of the Palestinians with respect to the Palestinian prisoners who will also be released as a part of this deal. You are right. Yesterday I spoke to Kadura Faris, the Minister of Palestinian Prisoners here in Ramallah, and he told me that before 7 October, there were uh, 5,800 Palestinians. But since 7 October right now, Israel has arrested more than 3,000 uh, Palestinians from the West Bank. So the number is exceeded 8,000 uh, Palestinian prisoners inside Israeli jails, including children, women, elderly, and sick people. And uh, the uh, 150 is nothing uh, compared to the right. huge number of uh, arrested by the Israelis, but this is a sign of hope for the Palestinian prisoners uh, to uh, be uh, freed in the coming time, uh, weeks or months, to throw uh, the uh, prisoners exchange between Hamas and Israel because Hamas will maintain uh, some 190 right. or 200 of the Israeli hostages, including soldiers, so they will ask for the free of other Palestinian prisoners. And uh, it, maybe it's worth to mention that Israel didn't uh, free Palestinian prisoners except in two things, either by through a peace process, and this is stuck since more than 15 years, or through uh, military uh, uh, kidnapping by Hamas and then a prisoner swap as they did with Gilad Shalit. And that's right. what will push the Palestinians or give the prisoners hope that they could be freed by Hamas. Uh, all right. prisoner exchange uh, in the coming weeks and months. All right, all right. Thank you very much indeed, Ms. Najib, for joining us and getting us those insights there. Thank you. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.